Hello everybody, my name is Michael Bro. Welcome to my video series for Satisfactory. This is my first video in the series and it will focus on setting up your basic factory. Gathering of the three main resources, iron, copper and limestone. Once you land, you are then required to dismantle your hub or your pod. Forms the basis for your hub which is your central point for your factory. F to dismantle, which puts it in your inventory. You also have a Zeno snapper, zapper, excuse me, uh, which is your self defense weapon. And you also have food that replenishes your health. These are barrel nuts, barrel. They will re replenish half the bar of health per nut. Usually when you pick up there are about seven. You need to equip them in your hand bar in order to eat them. There's no shortcut that I've figured out as yet. Just to eat food. You are also equipped with a scanner, resource scanner. Uh, we've selected the iron ore resource. Now it's going to show you the location of the close, not the closest, all the iron ore nodes that it has picked up. Uh, I'm going for the closest one here. See what we are working with. Here we go. Front we have the uh, iron ore node, which is the big rock in the center. You can mine manually just by hitting the floor with your E button. There are also enemies in the game that will try and eat you. For some reason, these oaks are very angry, they have a huge Huge aggro range. They'll just try and hit but you to death. They're pretty weak. Uh, the resources you get from them can be scanned for additional blueprints. Help you build other tools. Here we have another iron ore node. Which you can then put a miner on eventually. They are what I like to do is look for an area that has more than one res type of resource node close by. For example, here we have the copper ore nodes. We haven't unlocked the scanner yet, but we found copper and iron ore right next to each other. So this seems like a good place to start building a factory. Of satisfactory. Uh, the nodes will also shine a glimmer, give off a glimmer that you know. And to mine them by hand, just go over to the node and hit mine. This is very slow, one resource per hit. It's going to take a lot of time, but it will get better. Just a little bit of patience at that. Yeah, we're busy collecting enough ore so we can build our hub. Hub is the center point for all your entire factory. It allows you to convert your resources to ingots. Your iron ore will become an ingot. Your ingots then split into different resources. Location is key, layout is key. Now we're building the hub. You don't wanna. You need to think about placement of everything. It gets cluttered very quickly. Once you've placed your hub,
Okay, your zero is to upgrade your hub. Okay. Requires iron rods. Iron rods can be made in your craft bench using the iron ore, which convert into ingots, which then make the iron rods. We're making our iron rods. We'll be able to finish off the milestone for hub upgrade one. Do this, go back into the terminal and drag the resources to the hub. Now we've upgraded our hub. We have personal storage and additional buildings. We now have power as well. Power is generated from biomass burner. Biomass burner, your first resource is leaves, which you turn into biomass. Leaves are collected manually. <sighs> And this is very annoying in the beginning. You need a lot of leaves. And they burn out quite quickly. But like everything else in this game, that too can be automated. Now that we're done with that upgrade, we can build an equipment workstation. This allows us to build equipment, additional tools. With the first being portable miner so we no longer need to mine by hand this requires wire and cable uh, which are made by using copper or nodes as a resource so we finish off the iron we can make uh, metal poles iron rods and metal sheets now we need to make wire and cable. I've added the portable miner to a to-do list which will always be on screen as a constant reminder. Now we're scanning for copper. Copper node is not too far away. Now we go mine that by hand. We have the big ore that will give us more resources. Seems like six, six materials per swipe build up enough to get enough wire and cable. Once we have enough, we go back to the crafting station, crafting table, whatever it's called, where we can start making copper ingots. Okay, now we're back here, going to the craft bench, and we're gonna make copper ingots. Now we're mining. We've made our copper. We need a bit more metal ingots of those so we can build our portable miner. Now with our copper ingots, we can transform, that, transform those into wire. Once we have enough wire, we're able to transform the wire into cables which then gives us a requirement for our portable miners ok 
Okay, now we're gonna make some cables. Two wire makes a cable. Let's make a couple here. We have two out of the three resources needed. And we're gonna finish off with our iron plates. There we have it. We have enough resources for a portable miner. Or more than one. Let's call them wallies. How many are we making? We have four. Now we're gonna go place them over our resource. You have to equip them in your hand for some reason. You can't just throw them down. Once they're in your hand, then you can throw them down and then they will start mining. Portable miners will mine 100 resources, after then they will stop. You have to go into the miner, collect the resources, and it will continue to mine. Now we're looking for our copper nodes. We're going to go place down our portable miners on the copper nodes. And we're going to put down two portable miners here to get 200 copper ore. So we've semi enhanced our production line. No more manual mining. Always get leaves. Whenever you can, get leaves. Right now, they are not powered up because we don't require any electricity at the moment. Our next upgrade give us a whole bunch of new things. Limestone and a constructor. Constructor is very important. Let's see how many resources we have in here. 72 iron ore. Look at our little substation. So tiny. Okay, so now we need to go collect some more resources from our iron and copper ore miners, portable miners. And we're going to melt them down into ingots. Read through this quickly. Melting down the iron, now melt copper. And now we have the resources for our upgrade, upgrade number two. Gonna select the milestone, add the resource fire, fire, and there we have level two. New buildings, new. We have the constructor, which allows us to make concrete, amongst other things. And additional power options. Now we need to scan for limestone. We need this resource to make cement. Limestone is not too far away. Now we're stuck. Always, always get the leaves. Having a look at our new area. 
came with the upgrade, the level 2 upgrade, uh, crafting a portable miner, 4 hour limestone, scanning for the limestone, and now we must quickly fight the beasts. Placing the portable miners that will give us 200 limestone. And let's do. Now we're gonna manually farm this quickly, speed things up so we can get some cement. And after this, we should have three resources available running through the farm let's call him Bert hello Bert now we're gonna take the limestone and transform it into concrete An easy hack for building crafting is to put something on space bar. Here we can also make screws. Screws are made from iron rods. Screws are very valuable. Not so much right now. But we have the resources. Then reinforced iron. This is where we're starting to get into multiple resources for an item. So your screws require ingots need to be changed into iron rods and they need screws that come from iron rods and metal sheets always get the leaves gotta catch in them all go get them all make some biomass from leaves so we can power up our generators we're getting to power stage where we need electricity. So we have a biomass burner. We insert the fuel. It should start. But it won't really burn that much because it's not connected to a source. Once it's connected to a source, you need to increase the amount of leaves that you gather. Putting down a power pole. And then you connect the power pole that has no power to the biomass generator. Now that pole is able to give out a capacity of 20 megawatts. But we don't have anything just yet. Let's not waste any fuel. Let's see, what do we need for our next upgrade? Select the milestone. Add all the resources. 
we used the reinforced steel and the concrete and we need a lot more steel plates iron plates iron steel I will get them I will mix them up iron rods steel rods have enough I don't think so Let's go to our miners again running low on ingots grab all the resources so the, the miners will stop once they are full Let's craft the ingots then we make remaining sheets that we require just using up all the ingots now bring whatever we're gonna need them for just now now we have enough resources and we perform upgrade number three what did we get new conveyor belts we we reaching automation status and we have foundations and walls Making some space. Another thing is your resources will never despawn even if you throw them on the floor. They will stay there forever and can get in the way. building a ramp so we don't have to jump up here every time just walk up ah smooth let's put in another one get it get in get in oh, there we go okay what's next See what our, our tier 4 upgrade requires. I think we have most of the resources. Drop them in. Short on concrete. Make some space so we can get more inventory. And let's go get some more limestone. Our, our portable miners should be pulled up by now. Yeah, they've stopped working, meaning they're full. Let's grab and go. Now there's two birds. I just know one day I'm gonna accidentally hurt them and then they're gonna destroy everything other oh, ramps are cool the ramps are do it serving their purpose need more ingots
Now we need some more iron. We need a hundred iron sheets. So it's going to be quite a long one. Throw in some cement. And hopefully we have everything we need. 82 plus 2. Yes, we have enough there. Cool. That is upgrade number 4. What did we get? The MK Miner, I think. And a storage container. And that's all for the basics. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. This has been an introduction to Satisfactory, setting up three main resources. In my next video we will start working on automate production of these resources with conveyors and storage belts. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. My name is Michael Bro. Bye now.